بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد Dear viewers, brothers and sisters across the world Welcome to another episode of Steps to Perfection The daily program during the holy month of Ramadan which will allow us and help us to improve our Quran recitation and our Quran understanding um, Insha'Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give us the opportunity and the success and the tawfiq to benefit the most during this holy month of Ramadan from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the month of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Insha'Allah we will make a start with a recitation of the beginning of the fourth juzur and that would be our, insha'Allah, our, um, you know, our usual uh, plan for every episode that every day, insha'Allah, we'll be reciting the beginning of the juzur the relevant juz of the day and inshallah we count on you brothers and sisters to carry on that juz afterwards also we will have a uh, short um, pieces of advice and tips on quran recitation and quran memorization and quran understanding and it will be followed by the recitation of our dear participants and i encourage you to also pay attention to the feedback they receive because it could well be the case that you benefit from the same feedback that they will be receiving. Inshallah, we will now begin our Quran recitation from the beginning of, of uh, from the beginning of the fourth juzu, Surah to Ali Imran. It will be page 62, inshallah, ayah number. We will start from ayah number 92 of Surah to Ali Imran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لن تنالوا البر حتى تنفقوا مما تحبون وما تنفقوا من شيء فإن الله به عليم كل الطعام كان حلا لبني إسرائيل إلا ما حرم إسرائيل على نفسه من قبل كل الطعام كان حلا لبني إسرائيل إلا ما حرم إسرائيل على نفسه من قبل أن تنزل التوراة قل فأتوا بالتوراة فاتلوها إن كنتم صادقين فمن افترى على الله الكذب من بعد ذلك فأولئك هم الظالمون قل صدق الله فاتبعوا ملة إبراهيم حنيفا وما كان من المشركين إن أول بيت وضع للناس للذي ببكة مباركا وهدى للعالمين فيه آيات بينات مقام إبراهيم ومن دخله كان آمنا ولله على الناس حج البيت من استطاع إليه سبيلا ومن كفر فإن الله غني عن العالمين قل يا أهل الكتاب لم تكفرون بآيات الله والله شهيد على ما تعملون قل يا أهل الكتاب لم تصدون عن سبيل الله من آمن تبغونها عوجا وأنتم شهداء وما الله بغافل عما تعملون يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن تطيعوا فريقا من الذين أوتوا الكتاب يردوكم يا 
أيها الذين آمنوا إن تطيعوا فريقا من الذين أوتوا الكتاب يردوكم بعد إيمانكم كافرين صدق الله العلي العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الأمين وصدق بذلك مولانا أمير المؤمنين والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على محمد وآلي محمد In the previous episodes we did mention some tips and some pieces of advice that could be useful regardless of your level of expertise and skills in Quran recitation Today we are going to talk about the intention or the plan or the desire to have our understanding of the Holy Quran improved by changing the way that we recite the Holy Quran. So for many people it is reciting the ayah and they are mainly focusing on the harakat and the letters and the words and what's happening and that in itself is very good but sometimes it takes a conscious decision for us to say that i am going to recite the holy quran with the intention of trying to interact with the quran so some interactivity with the quran and this is something that Ahlul Bayt have taught us. This is something that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has taught us and the companions at his time. And what do we mean by this? And I will explain. The narration says that when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam used to read the ayat of Adab, kana yasta'idhu billah. So he would seek refuge from Allah. وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ And on the other side, when he would read the ayat which gives glad tidings, then he would praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when he would read حمد الله And when he would read the ayat which is about the glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he would glorify and perform tasbih to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in fact, on the day of Jum'ah, if you read one of the recommended a'mal of the day of Jum'ah, is the recitation of Surah Al-Rahman. Of course, Mafatih al jinan by the um, respected, highly respected Al-Muhaddith al-Shaykh Abbas al-Qummi, in Mafatih al-Jinan, on the day of Jum'ah, it is strongly recommended to recite Surah Al-Rahman. And it says, the hadith from Imam Sadiq salam says, and when you get to the ayah, you know in Surah Al-Rahman you keep repeating, فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَا الرَّحْمَانُ عَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ عَلَّمَهُ الْبَيَانَ الشمس والقمر بحسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان and so on when you get to the ayah which is repeated فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان the hadith from Ahlul Bayt says it is recommended مستحب to say لا بشيء من آلائك ربي أكذب this is obviously, we're not saying this is part of the Qur'an, nor does the hadith says that this statement is part of the Qur'an. It says of the adab, of the manners, and which will have an effect on us to have an interactive recitation of the Qur'an, is that when we, when we recite ayat like this, you say, the, the ayah says that and which of your lords um, which of your lords creation and glory do you deny and we say and the hadith says that we should say I do not deny any of your glory and any of your creations Ya Allah 
So here the point is very simple and very clear. It does, of course, require some understanding of what we are reading, but that understanding could be achieved, as we said previously, and we are building on these sessions one by one, that basic understanding could be achieved through looking at a tafsir, if you are um, aware of the Arabic language, or looking at a good translation if you are non-Arabic language speaker. So the point here is, and I recommend everyone to try to do that, is that you live through the ayat and you live with the ayat and you try to feel the ayat that you are reciting as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam did and as Ahlul Bayt teach, it, teach us to, to, to do is that when we recite Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm al-Deen Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een Ihdina sirata al-mustaqeen Sirata al-ladheena an'amta alayhim We say, Ya Allah, make us of those who are an'amta alayhim that you've given them the bounties and that you've given them the blessings غير المغضوب عليهم we say نعوذ بالله oh Allah do not allow us to be of those um, that your wrath and your anger has uh, been has befell upon them and so on so the concept is very simple is that when we recite the ayat we try to understand and live and and and, and feel and sense the meaning of the ayat and try to present uh, or say what would be relevant for the ayah. If it's about punishment, we seek refuge and seek protection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's wrath by seeking refuge towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if it, if it is glad tidings and the bounties of the paradise, then we seek uh, the bounty and the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we pray that we are made of those who would receive those bounties. Inshallah, the, the concept is simple and it's meaningful. And I hope that if you try it, and there's no month better than the month of Ramadan to try that, if you try it, you will um, enjoy the recitation of the Holy Quran even more and you will interact and live the ayat, uh, inshallah. Um, so now we will listen to our dear brothers who will be reciting and as i said i encourage you brothers and sisters to uh listen to the feedback that they will receive because it could well be the case that you receive you benefit from the same feedback that they will be getting uh, starting with brother hussein please assalamu alaikum alaikum assalamu rahmatullah <coughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وكيف تكفرون وأنتم تتلى عليكم آيات الله وفيكم رسوله ومن يعتصم بالله فقد هدي إلى صراط مستقيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تق يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته حق تقاته ولا تم ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون واعتصموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا واذكروا نعمة الله عليكم إذ كنتم أعداء فألف بين قلوبكم فألف بين قلوبكم فأصبحتم بنعمته 
فأصبحتم بنعمته إخوانا وكنتم على شفا حفرة من النار وكنتم على شفا حفرة من النار فأنقذكم منها كذلك يبين الله لكم آياته لعلكم تهتدون صدق الله العلي العظيم Hasnat Allahum salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Beautiful recitation, Ahsant. It was fluent, it was good. Things to bear in mind is one qaf, qaf, haqqa tuqatihi. It could it is easy to com to conflate qaf with ghain, haqqa. Do not allow that strongly and robustly. This the whole idea is that we control this the mouth the the tongue our uh, muscles that are controlling the way that we make our pronunciation of course it comes with exercise and with practice but the idea is that the qaf needs to be clear okay qaf bear in mind we've mentioned this before Avoid the seen flavored t. Wala tamutunna, wala tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. Yes, so qaf and ta. Very important to uh, try to practice and spend a bit more time on them. The other thing is your waqf. Sometimes, as we said before, have a glance over the ayat so that you prepare your breathing with the ayah because you had some some waqf which was not um, which was not um, very appealing in the way that it would convey the meaning um, behind it. Um, so three things, qaf, ta, and your waqf, and the waqf could be addressed by better breathing. Ahsan Hussain. We go to Brother Yasser now. Assalamu alaikum. عليكم السلام ورحمة الله. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. ولتكن منكم أمة يدعون إلى الخير ويأمرون بالمعروف وينهون عن المنكر. وأولئك هم المفلحون ولا تكونوا كالذين تفرقوا واختلفوا من بعد ما جاءهم البينات وأولئك لهم عذاب عظيم يوم تبيض وجوه وتسود فأما الذين سودت وجوههم أكفرتم بعد إيمانكم أكفرتم بعد إيمانكم فذوقوا العذاب بما كنتم تكفرون وأما الذين بيضت وجوههم ففي رحمة الله هم فيها خالدون تلك آيات الله نتلوها عليك بالحق وما الله يريد ظلما للعالمين صدق الله العلي العظيم Ahsant, Ahsant, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Beautiful recitation, very good adherence to the waqf. Your waqf was very good because it meant that it conveyed the meaning of the statements and the verses of the, uh, of the Holy Quran. Uh, the advice I would give is you need to spend some time on the when to uh, give strength to the letter and when to uh, make it light. وَأُولَئِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَوْ عَذَابٌ 
عذابٌ عظيم not عذابٌ عذابٌ is wrong عذابٌ عظيم okay it's a tiny difference but it makes the recitation much more um, in line with um, with its correct pronunciation on the other side هم فيها خالدون مو خالدون خالدون is wrong خالدون خالدون um, and the other thing I would say is breathing if I take a breath the, my pronunciation and recitation would be one more comfortable and two it would be it would come out it would, the projection of my voice would be more solid and more uh, you know like more clear more obvious okay so I take enough breath to cover me for the ayah uh, because the weakness and the lack of breath could weaken the way that my sound is project or my voice is projected so I sent him now we go to brother Mehdi A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahi Rahmanir Rahim Wa Lillahi Ma Fi Samawati Wa Ma Fi Al-Ard Wa Ila Allahi Turja'un Kuntum Khayra Ummatin Ukhrijat Linnasi Ta'muruna Bil-Ma'rufi Wa Tanhawna Alim Munkari Wa Tu'minuna Billah ولو آمن أهل الكتاب لكان خيرا لكم منهم المؤمنون وأكثرهم الفاسقون لكان خيرا لهم ولو آمن أهل الكتاب لكان خيرا لهم منهم المؤمنون وأكثرهم الفاسقون لا يضروكم إلا أتلوكم يولوكم الأذبار ثم لا ينصرون ضربت عليهم الذلة أينما ثقفوا إلا بحبل من الله وحبل من الناس وباءوا بغضب وباءوا بغضب من الله وضربت عليهم المسكنة ذلك بأنهم يكفرون بآيات الله ويقتلون الأنبياء بغير حق ذلك بما عصوا وكانوا يحتدون Good recitation. I strongly recommend that you listen to a reciter and try to saturate uh, your hearing and also your brain with the recitation of a respected reciter. Somebody like Al Menshawi or Al Husari, which I've recommended before is definitely a recommendation and make it part of your daily routine whether you're doing active listening as in you're focusing 100 percent focused on recitation or you're in the car or you're on your way to somewhere or you're you know just walking about of course maintaining health and safety regulations and looking after yourself well but you know if you are in that position where you're not doing something that requires your full attention then have the Quran reciting in the background from a valid, respected, revered reciter. And now we go to Brother Mustafa. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Laysu sawa'a. من أهل الكتاب أمة قائمة يتلون آيات الله آناء الليل وهم يسجدون 
يؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر ويأمرون بالمعروف وينهون عن المنكر ويسارعون في الخيرات وأولئك من الصالحين وما يفعلوا من خير فلن يكفروا والله عليم بالمتقين تقين صدق الله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد احسنت your projection of your voice is good and that tells me that's kind of on you know similar to the point that i gave to yasser but on the other side of the scale um is that you have enough breath which means that you're able to uh, let your voice um you know have the comfortable position when it is reciting the ayat and that's good in itself but equally you want to be mindful of the amount of energy that you are spending on reciting the ayat because you want to be in the middle of the scale if too little energy you're not going to enjoy it too much energy which some reciters like really you can see them you know they are um you know spending a lot of energy with their face and their muscles and their you know body posture well that will drain you very quickly um and we want the quran recitation experience to be as a useful as beneficial and as joyful and enjoying the quran recitation and in order to do that then you need to be mindful of your energy again the same um, advice to mahdi is that you need to have more you probably are doing this already to have more of the quran Uh, recited by either Minshawi or Husari in the background, whether in your home. Uh, of course, the Quran says, the Hadith says that the house in which Quran is recited, would shine for the people of the heavens. Who is in the heavens? It's the angels. Okay, which sh- the house in which Quran is recited. would shine for the people of the heavens just as the stars would shine for the people of the earth so allow the quran to be and this is a, an advice for all my dear brothers and sisters and viewers who are watching us is that fill you know create this ambiance to create this environment atmosphere of quranic atmosphere in which that you have your quran being recited and now with the smart TVs and with the various portable handheld devices um it has become really easy uh, to do that um have the quran recited in the background especially in the morning in the evening when the kids are going to sleep when you are uh, you know doing some reading it's very good of course if you can focus on your quran recitation it's even better if you can dedicate all your efforts um and and your attention to the quran even more better but the least to do is have the quran ramadan ramadan welcome holy month ramadan welcome